This is Abbot Trefon. I am going to address the subject of depression. I have been hearing from people all over the country about the struggle they're having with depression during this pandemic lockdown. Even as a monk, there are times when I think, I don't know how I can deal with this much longer. As most of you who know me would recognize that I am definitely a people person. This past six months, I have had to cancel four different trips, one in Canada and three in the United States on speaking engagements that I was really looking forward to. There's nothing that makes me happier than to encounter Orthodox Christians around the country when I have an opportunity to address spiritual subjects to them and share in our life in Christ, in his Holy Church. So this pandemic lockdown has been very difficult for me, as it has for all of you. But I think it's important for us to remember that nothing that we are experiencing now has not been, is not something that has been experienced before, many times during the history of humankind. There are many historical moments when the church and, it, and her people have faced pandemics. But we have to keep focused in our minds that this too shall pass. None of us knows how much longer this is going to continue. Some are forecasting that this will probably go on for through, through Pascha. Nativity and Pascha are not times when we want to think about being separated from our parish communities, but this may be what's in store for us. But what we need to keep focused in our minds, is that this life that we have been gifted is not about the acquisition of things or even hanging out with our friends or even happiness in this world. This life has been given to us as a gift from God, it is a time for preparation for eternity. The fact that we are experiencing these lockdowns is not something that we should look upon as having been foisted on us by governments, although that may be the case, but something rather that has been allowed by God because he loves us. Some will say, well, how can we say that God loves us when we are suffering like we are? There are so many people that are now without jobs or have lost their homes because of foreclosures. There are thousands upon thousands of people that are not employed because restaurants and businesses have been closed. Even some of our churches are in danger of never being able to reopen because they don't have the finances to keep their store, their churches in open, as, as open places. So who knows what's going to come after this? But we cannot allow ourselves to see what is happening to us as a sign that somehow God does not care because he does. If we see all of this is as allowed by God because he loves us and he's calling us to repentance, then we can use this time to focus on the inner life. Just because we are not allowed to go to our churches does not mean that we should not pray. For many, this is 
probably the first opportunity that they have had to go inward. This is the first opportunity that many families have had to put the focus on family devotions and prayer book services and lighting the lampadas before our icons and gathering our children around. Some children are even going to experience orthodoxy as it's meant to be lived for the first time because their parents are bringing them into the domestic church. This is the opportunity that God has given to us, not because he's absent, but because he wants us to focus on that which is of eternal value. This life is meant as a time of preparation. So let us prepare ourselves by repentance and prayer and loving other people. Let us reach out to other people, family members and friends and neighbors, even if it's only a quick telephone call asking how they're doing or a text message, letting them know that we're thinking about them and we care. And if we're not unemployed, let us use this as an opportunity to give to charities that are being taxed like never before. And let us remember that God loves us. And this is a reason for throwing depression back to where it belongs, in Hades. Depression is not something that we need to receive and wallow in because it comes from the demons. Let us turn with joy to God and fill our hearts with the presence of Christ like never before. And personally, I want you all to know that you are in my prayers and that I love you with all my heart.